What's good, everybody, man? Welcome back to Wild with Marcus. You already know what time it is, family. Been entirely too long since I kicked it with you. And the only way you can repeat that with your boy is because you're new, man. If you're new, smack the subscriber button and hit the bell so you can keep up with my latest videos. And let me get official welcome to the family, man. It's a pleasure to have you, man. Real talk. Leave us something in the bottom. Now, what I got for y'all today is some more subscriber request content. Shout out to the realest family in the world, Craig. That's right. Shout out to all my Craigs out there. You guys are amazing. And you look amazing. But yeah, man, this one right here is uh, the one time it's okay to say the N-word by Garrick Bernard. Now, I have no idea, family, and that is because I am authentic channel. I said authentic channel. Well, authentic guy running a channel. Yeah. You know, we just force all those words in there sometimes. It works. What are you talking about? You, you, yeah? Okay, you, you hear me say that? No, you didn't. Let's go. Bernard. Y'all don't have to keep telling me that you saw Black Panther. Like, I get it. I get it. You're a good person. You, you're a good person. I get it. You don't have to keep telling me that shit. But stop acting like that's reparations and I get that money. I don't, bro. You know? we, we have other interests. Every time you see a black person, you don't have to just list all the black shit you know. Like, one time someone came up to me and was like, hey, do you listen to Seal? What? Does he drink lean? Then no. Absolutely not. Just be observant for a second. Just look at me. So, okay, so Garrett wears skinny jeans and glasses. You watch anime, right? Yes, I do. Let's talk about that. <laughs> okay, I okay. look in. I didn't know that was a thing like that. So now, Garrett just taught me something. Sound like a rustic Steve Urkel. Of course I love anime, bro. Of course I do. <laughs> from, I'm from LA. And I guess I should be cooler because of it. Also, side note, I'm sorry, San Francisco. I had no idea our relationship was so poor. You know, that was, like just recently I got off the train, I was wearing a Dodgers cap, and immediately I heard, nah, take that shit off. I'm like, oh my god. I turn around, it's just a nigga. I got on a scooter wearing AirPods. I'm like, oh my god. It's the rudest Android I've ever seen. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm over being from LA. I'm over it. Because what happens is all your friends move out of the city, right? And then it just gets filled with people not from there that talk shit about the city that raised you to your face. Like, fuck you. Fuck everything about LA. I hate the traffic. Why is there so much traffic? You, bro. You're why. Your call was coming from inside the house the entire time. You're the one that chose to move to a city that's been at capacity for the past 20 years. And I say 20 years because that's exactly how long it takes people to realize that dreams don't come true. Like, stop <laughs> fucking moving here, man. Stop moving here, man. You get to see a lot of dope stuff, I guess. Uh, like the other day I got to witness my Asian waiter uh, rage quit, and that was amazing. <laughs> His boss, yeah, his boss was being like, his boss was being oppressive, like way too hard on him, calling him simple and whatnot. Uh, and in response, he said, uh, "Fuck this, I'm a goddamn thug, nigga." <laughs> Asian, we just God. went for it. <laughs> Best part about it, though, is that I was the only black dude in there, so being the only race officer present, everyone simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, excuse me, sir. He said the word. Uh -huh. Aren't you gonna do something about this? No, not at all. Because if you're gonna say it, that's when you say it, bro. I clap. I clap for him. I feel like he didn't even mean to say it. The word just kind of manifested itself. Cause that's where it belongs, deep within the bosom of liberation, right? <laughs> He's stupid, bro. That was it. That was quick. That was painfully quick. How y'all gonna do us like that, bro? I didn't even get a chance to know old Gary Bernard, man. I'm just saying, I didn't. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the clip, man. Uh, thanks for bringing it to my attention, family. And uh, yeah, if it's more from Gary, where he actually gets to kill it and get more to, because that was he, you know, he had a little funny jerk that he's, he, you know, his demeanor's cool. I think he'll be a funny guy if I can see more than two minutes and seven seconds of him. I'll get that a shot, you know. Yeah. So yeah, who is this? Uh, uh, Meek Mecky Leaper, porn for equality. Okay, that semen is way grosser than periods. Molly Austin. All right. No, I didn't. I didn't even mean to read those out just now. Just kind of happened. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, you know what time it is, though, family. Worst part of the video. Part where I gotta go to get some more. Uh, I got more subscriber content to get into, and I can't wait to get into it. But I, I mean, with you guys. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. And on a side note, stop giving your time and attention to those who don't give their time and attention to you. Invest in those who invest in you. Why would Marks love y'all? Drop it to us, man. Y'all be safe out there. I'll see y'all soon. Boop, boop. Latest. <laughs> Rolling up and something new and taking all the bitches How you get your car that tone, my shit is so prestigious I would compliment your shit, but I would really mean it Niggas hating on the kid